Hi folks, we're leaving St. Augustine. In fact, we left St. Augustine just uh, about an hour ago. We've gone through Jacksonville now, or around Jacksonville, Florida now, and we're headed up to Wrightsville Beach. And uh, we're gonna visit a friend, uh, actually it's my nephew's son. Uh, we're gonna visit him and his girlfriend in Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. I'll show you what some of that looks like in a little while. without stopping by the Florida Citrus Center. And you can get oranges there, and you can get all kinds of good stuff. And we're gonna go check it out right now, Jen, eh? You looking for mama? stopped at the Florida Citrus Center and yeah, it, was, it was okay it was cool a lot of stuff that we don't need and you know hey we've downsized got rid of just all the uh, stuff that we don't need and we've got a car load of stuff now that we uh, when we go back uh, and traveling in Mexico in a few months uh, we're not gonna have this much stuff with us. I can promise you that. So the last thing we need to do is get an alligator head or uh, another keychain or something else that we don't need. But hey, it's a cool place to stop and you can get fresh oranges and coconut head things and all kinds of cool stuff there. When you see the agricultural inspection station, you know you're about to leave Florida. Thank you for visiting Florida. So I take that to mean that we're now in Georgia. I guess I have Georgia on my mind. Coming up, it's got a Georgia.
Georgia peach on the side there. And they're glad Georgia's on your mind. All right, we just stopped by Crystal and we're around Brunswick, I think, uh, Georgia. And the, you know, we saw the sign at the road uh, out on the highway, Crystal, next exit. We pulled in there and went up to the door. The door was locked. Okay, I guess we'll do the drive through. Pull around the drive through, is a sign at the drive through that says, Come to the window. You go to the window, there's nobody there. The place is closed down. Um, and I guess it's one of those things. I know that when we were still in Virginia back in January of this year, I, I went for like three days to a Dunkin' Donuts and they were closed because they had nobody would work. No employees would come into work. And you know, when, when the United States, guys, come on, when you continue to give out checks to people uh, to not work, and then you have restaurants that can't have employees to come into work because of that. That's a real stupid problem to have. We need to stop that kind of crap right now and, and get America, get people back working again. Let me hear your comments. I'm sure I will hear your comments after that one, won't I? All right, we're in South Carolina now, and the road seems to just drop right off back there. And uh, we went down from uh, four lanes to three lanes, down to two lanes in just a few minutes. Uh, but not a lot to have shown for Georgia, at least not on 95. Uh, just kind of flat, boring. Uh, you do cross over some pretty rivers and creeks and all. One of the creeks was uh, St. Augustine Creek, so that was interesting. But uh, hey, in South Carolina now. Okay, just uh, pulled into South Carolina into a Wendy's. Could not find another crystal, so we pulled into Wendy's. And same thing that I talked about at the crystal a minute ago. Uh, there's a Wendy's, and right beside them is a Burger King, and the, only the drive through is open. And I asked them why. And they said, you could come inside to eat if you want to, but uh, them and the Burger King both, we can't find anybody that, that will work. And so you can come in and eat, but nobody can wait on you in there. Uh, or you can eat in your car and just a couple of people working in there. They can't find people to work. America, come on. You're going down the tubes and you're too dumb to realize it. Mexico's not having this problem because they're not paying everybody not to work. Come on. Let's fix this. We can do better. Hey, since this is going to be a controversial video anyway with some of the things I said, uh, let me throw one more out there. I don't know what the deal is. But in Mexico, we got better gas mileage. I don't get it. I don't understand how that's even possible, but we've noticed that gas mileage went down in the US, and the only thing that we can think of, because we're comparing flat ground to flat ground, same car, the only thing we can think of that would have made a difference is some kind of an additive. Either there's an additive in the gas here that gives us worse gas mileage, or there's an additive in Mexico that gives better gas mileage, or they don't put an additive in there and it's better for your car. I don't know, but there's something fishy here. Where's Colombo when you need him? <music> on something if you've got some excess money in the budget that the politicians haven't stuffed into their pockets uh, maybe uh, work on the roads a little bit and while you're at it get the yard crew back out here to cut the grass good gracious there's some areas I've seen it it's like three feet tall in the in the median come on let's make South Carolina beautiful
when I said they needed to work on their roads, they need to work on their roads. You don't believe me? Let's get across this bridge and, and you'll be able to hear it a little bit better. But it's sometimes so loud that you can't even hear yourself think. And uh, bumps, holes, it's... I don't know if they just can't find people to work for the highway department. I don't know. Here you go. Can you hear that? If you can't hear the road. Sign. Well, that's uh, for south of the border. South of the border is just one of those places as Americana as you can get. It's been around for about 70 years. Started off as just a place to sell or to buy beer, uh, but it's located right close to the North Carolina South Carolina line. Called south of the border because it's kind of the halfway point between Florida and New York as people would be traveling. Uh, since it started now it's got uh, it's kind of like a, a small amusement park got a miniature golf course shopping fireworks uh, motocross training complex truck stop motel gas station restaurants and then of course the junky little trinkets that they sell there that they've always sold there ever since I was a kid But a lot of times when you see the signs, it might be one sign on the right-hand side, but then there'll be two signs on the left-hand side. So they have more billboards up and down the East Coast than any other place I know of. see it but to your left over the trees is the big sombrero south of the border all on the right hand side all south of the border there the Mexico shop Fort Pedro You ever got a couple of hours to waste and you're going down Interstate 95, need a place to stop for a few minutes, stop it south of the border. And we are entering into North Carolina. Jenny wanted me to tell you that North Carolina is where she was born. She was born in Pinehurst, North Carolina in 2007. One thing that we noticed as soon as you cross over into North Carolina, the roads were smoother. Amazing. Good job, North Carolina. You're spending money on your roads. Thank you. Hey, North Carolina, not only are your roads smoother, but they actually mow the grass in the middle, too. So, I don't know. Two thumbs up, North Carolina. So, 
Oh, North Carolina, they're out there writing those tickets today. Yep, North Carolina, they're cutting the grass. Can you see the rainbow? Man, coming into Wilmington, North Carolina, evidently there's a pot of gold somewhere around here. I think that pot of gold is just off to the right up there. See it, Andrew? Okay, we're coming uh, close to Wrightsville Beach, Wilmington, and Wrightsville Beach area, and that's where we're going to be spending the night, and our next video will be actually in Wrightsville Beach because we're meeting my nephew's son, my nephew-nephew, my great-nephew, uh, Cody, and uh, we'll be meeting him uh, or seeing him in a little bit, and so, hey, thank you so much for watching our videos. Thank you for subscribing and for sharing and for joining us on our journey or on the journey. Dios te bendiga, mi amigos. We just passed by a sign that said Bolivia. And I'm thinking, what would Bugs Bunny say? I think I made a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Welcome to Wilmington. Mm -hmm.